Quiz 1, Question 1. For the combination of resistors, find what is the resistance RAB between terminals A and B. Well, for this configuration, there's not going to be any current in this resistor 3, so um, I will erase it uh, so that uh, there's no current on this either. So the equivalent resistance between A and B is these three resistors in series R2, R5, and R6, and that combination in parallel with R4, and the whole thing in series with R1. Let me write it down. Let's see, I write down here the, re the resistance RAB is the series of those three. Sure, R2 plus R5 plus R6. In the exam, I would not do it this way. I would enter the numbers directly in the calculator. The series of those in parallel with R4, so in parallel with R4. And that whole combination in series with R1. In series with R1. Or, if we want to say that with numbers, it would be just like that. So, you see, I prefer to represent the combination first on paper, but in reality I do that directly in the calculator. Those three resistors in series, in parallel with 39, which is this one, and in series with 27, which is R1. Let's do that on the calculator. 20, space 43, space 16, addition, addition. Those three are in series, and then I say 39, and I cook them in, connect them in parallel with this one that is in parallel, and 27 addition. So that is the first resistance, 53.11 ohms. 53.11 ohms. Four digits. And the solution is sufficient for the exam. Now let's work on the resistance from A to C. There's going to be no current on this wire, so let me remove that because it's distractive. And the same is for this one. In this case, there is no current here. So you see the resistance between A and C is R1 in series with R3. R4, R6, and R5 in series in parallel with R2, in series with R1 and with R3. Let's write it down. RAC is these three R4 in series with R6 in series with R5. The three here and those in parallel with R2 in parallel with R2 and then in series with R1 and in series with R3 or with numbers like that. Three resistors in series, those three, in parallel with 20 ohms here, and in series with R1 and with R3, R1 and R3. Let's do that on the calculator. 39, space 16, space 43, it's equivalent to enter, right? And then I say, addition, addition, they are in series, and then 20, and uh, in parallel with that, and then in series with 27, addition, and with 75, addition. That is the resistance between A and C, 118.61 ohms. 100 18.61 ohms. And now we go for BC. Before doing that, let me bring back the rest of the drawing, like so. Between B and C, between these two terminals, of course, then there is no current on uh, this terminal, so this is distracting, and the same is true for this one. So it's very clear that between B and C, the resistance is R4 and R2 in series, R6 and R5 in series in parallel with the previous one, and all of that in series with R3. 
Let's write it down. Resistance between B and C. We said is R4 in series with R2. That's correct. Those two. And that in parallel with R6 in series with R5. Great. And all that in series with R3. Or if we use numbers, there you have the values. 39 in series with 20, those two in series, the parallel of the combinations, and in series with 75. Ohms, now we use a calculator. 39 in series with 20. 16, 43, addition, the parallel of those two, and 75, addition. That is a combination of all of those resistors. It is 104.5 ohms. 104.5 ohms. And that is the solution to part A of question 1. Let's go with part B. Now this is part B of question 1 of the quiz 1. We want to find the resistance, the equivalent resistance that this combination of resistors presents to an external observer at terminals X or Y. We identify their nodes, this one, A, and we call that A and this B, and this C. What about the one at the bottom? On first sight, it seems as is if there is only two elements connected to this one. But in reality, there has to be an observer out here. The observer, which I'm going to represent just as a generic source, the observer is the one that is looking at the circuit and perceives the equivalent resistance. So you see this point here has one, two, three elements. It is a true node. Do you realize that this is exactly the same configuration we show in class? This is a triangle here. You see? This is a triangle. This ABC is also a triangle and uh, a resistor in series with the external observer. This is exactly the same circuit, so you see it's a configuration we're familiar with. I will replace one of the two triangles, the one on the top of the one on the bottom, with a star. I chose to replace the one on the top. This way. Do not forget to erase the original resistors now that you have replaced the delta with this star. Now we need to find those values of the three resistors, RA, RB, and RC, and for that we use our calculator. We run the program delta to Y conversion. It asks us to enter the values RAB, RBC, and RCA, which we have here, 27, 39, and 75. We do that, 27, spies, 39 space 75. Continue the execution now here. Continue. And those are the three values for RA, RB, and RC in ohms that we need to put into our circuit. Like this. Now we're ready to compute the equivalent resistance between nodes X and Y. Those two in series, in parallel with these two in series, and then that in series with 14, 36, and with 20. And that is something we do rapidly with a calculator. I prefer to leave those values on the stack with our tags like that. So 20 in series with RA. So I pick RA, which is in stack level 3. I type stack level 3, and then pick, pick. OK, I have another copper of A, and that plus 20, 20 addition. So we have that ready. Now, this is um, 
RB in series with 16. So uh, RB would be stock level 3, pick, and 16, 16, addition, so that in series, and then uh, this would be RC in level 3. 3, pick, 43, 43, addition. And then the parallel of those two, which are these two, parallel with this key, parallel. And that in series with the rest of what is on top, and that is the combined resistance of the entire group, 51.51 .51 ohms, and we copy that to our solutions sheet. R between X and Y is 51.51 ohms, and that is the solution of question number one. Thank you very much.